tell me about Abdul Manab Nurmagomedov. Uh, I never had the pleasure of of meeting him, but you just see the way Habib talks about him, not just Habib, but everyone, that whole team. I mean, Dagestan MMA is because of him, right? And that's why I said on Friday, I, I'm sad that there's no, obviously it's not the most important thing right now, but there should be an MMA Hall of Fame, an MMA Hall of Fame, right? You know, no knock on the UFC Hall of Fame, that's theirs, but in mixed martial arts Hall of Fame, like there's a boxing Hall of Fame. And I think Abdul Manap should be in there because of what he did for that region and the fighters that he helped make, including his son, first and foremost. Who was this man? Why was he so special? Oh, man. I met, I met Habib's father at UFC 187. He was there with uh, Islam fought, I think. And uh, I remember going to the Ultimate Fighter gym. And I was cutting my weight. And his dad grabbed me. And he starts pummeling with me. And I was like, yo, he's strong. I was <laughs> like, Habib's your dad's strong, right? So I'm just kind of talking to him as I'm grappling with Abdul Manab. And then... He's like, DC, you need to pay attention, brother. This guy will try to smash you. And all of a sudden, we end up on the ground, and we're going about 60%. It was, like, harder than I thought we were going to go. But he he was, he was always want, he wanted to make me start sweating, right, because I, it was time for me to start cutting weight. So he wanted to make me start sweating, but he just kind of wanted to get me moving because I was sitting around, you know, he started moping and pouting, and he wanted to test himself. He just wanted to test himself against me. You know, I had been there to wrestle, and, but he was just a strong man. He he would wrestle anyone. He would train anyone. He tried to help anyone. He did so many things to try to help people. And he just instilled this family value in the Habib like nothing I've ever seen. He's raised a, a great champion and has left behind a fantastic family because Habib and his kids, they idolized him. They loved him so tremendously. And not only Habib, you got to think of the guys that have come out of that gym. Um, Zub Zuba, Zubay Tukugov, and uh, Islam Makashev, and Umar Nurmagomedov, and Tagir. They've got so many great guys that come from that region, and they were all trained by Abdumanab. And he was very disciplined. He was very tough on the kids, but it was because he knew what it would take to become champions. Um, he was a great man. Anyone that ever was in his presence, Ariel, uh, left feeling better for it because they knew that they felt that the care that came off of him. And I know I didn't spend much time with him, but in the time that I spent with him, he left a lasting impression on me and not only me, but also like the people around me. That kid in the video that he was wrestling with um, is Moses Mirabel. And Moses Mirabel will be a freshman at Gilroy High School now. But he's just a little boy. He was one of the first wrestlers on my team ever when I started at AK and he would always come to my fights and he would cut weight with me because he wanted to be my coach. And I, and Abdul Manab wrestled him because I told him he was a wrestler. So he grabbed his Moses and he wrestled Moses and Moses never forgot that. You know, he was a, I know, you know, what's he now? 14. So he was an eight year old kid. And, um, you know, he made him feel special and that's what he did to everybody. It's a great clip that you posted. And, uh, you know, when I think of him, I always think of something that Javier Mendez said in every interview about Habib. You know, this guy was uh, his son's coach. He made him into the fighter that he was. But once Habib came to AKA, according to Javier, Abdul Manab never told him what to do. Like he, he respected the fact that he's the guy at AKA. My son is in your hands. I'm not going to meddle. Because, you, you know, you hear about, you know, LeVar Ball, right? Like fathers who just think that they know everything and they get in, in, in the way when it comes to their, uh, their kids' careers in athletics. It sounded to me like this man knew everything. He, he made Habib into the, into the fighter that he was. But once he left home for a little bit to be at uh, AK in San Jose, he stayed out of the way. That says a lot about who he is because he didn't have to do that, right? And Javier would listen to him. To me, that says a lot about the kind of man that he was. And even the fact that Habib was here, right? He had everything he needed over in Dagestan, especially now as the champion. And Islam's right. gotten so good. Islam gives him a lot of his rounds. They come and do that at AKA because of the loyalty that they are. I think Deron Wynn might have had the greatest quote in regards to um, Habib and his father in terms of their relationship. When Habib jumped the cage and kicked Dylan Dennis, and fought Connor, and all that happened. He went to the back with his title and said, my father's going to smash me. Who says that at 30 years old? Hmm. You know, like, my father's going to smash me. You know, like, that's just the respect he had for his dad. 
And, you know, they all still kind of, they all still live together. Like the families live together in Dagestan. You know, that's how, that's how strong a bond they all had together. It's very sad that he's gone. You know, that thing, it hit me like a ton of bricks because I talked to the champ, my champion, our champion, AKA's champion on Wednesday about everything. And he was having difficulties dealing with all this, you know, the training makes him feel better, but it would be very difficult for the champ to fight under those circumstances. So now I don't know what's going to happen. I really don't. It's such a big part of who he is. I don't know what he's going to be able to do um, without his dad. Have you had a chance to talk to him since? I haven't spoken to him. I texted him a little bit and told him that I, I am praying for him. I am fully, un I understand what he's going through. You know, you lose your hero and uh, it's very difficult. So if he needs anything or needs me, I'm here for him.